We have discussed how Maki ended up defeating her cousin Naoya in a battle that ended up with her mom thrusting a knife into his back and dying alongside him during the Zenin clan massacre. However, this isn't the end of Naoya as during the Culling Games arc of the manga, we see Maki taking down a special great cursed spear with her new powerful cursed sword, but as she links up with Noritoshi Kamo, who we saw bloodbending against Megami in season 1, the two are surprised when they look up into the sky and see a giant odd shaped worm coming down towards them, saying something is off about it. From the holes on its face, the words Maki start to come out as suddenly it speeds down towards the ground so fast that no one can react to it at all, as all of the air behind it is moving so fast that it causes destruction in the town. In an instant, Maki is snatched away as she's dragged through the town and forest, slamming her into the side of a cliff. Maki tries to counterattack, but she's too slow to even hit this thing, as hundreds of giant maggots start to leak from its face, and we see the enlarged head of Naoya squeezing out, saying hello, Maki-chan, as Naoya becomes a cursed spirit and wants his revenge.